Welcome back, Bernard. Hi, Carsten. So we are now, approaching now we have the end, sort of. Yeah, we, we have a complex video now because we were discussing a lot how we do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, it is not really complex, I would say. I mean, we have done most of the stuff, right? But now we need to simulate the client, which is um, to show how the client would, uh, you know, access the resources on your system, right? So this is uh, this is here remote desktop app. So first, mm -hmm. uh, what is the status? Uh, let's see here. I have deployed another um, Windows 11 multi-session host. So we have now two: the MS1 and the MS2. Mm -hmm. And if we look in Azure, let me see where is my Azure. I think it's here in our um, host pool. One, we have now two registered machines. So, Bernard, you configured that if multiple users log in over um, to the workspace, uh, hopefully it will put one user on one machine and one user on the other machine. Maybe that works. Yeah, yeah. it should sort of, you know, distribute the load to the two boxes, right? So, let's see. So, first, I switch to my host. So I'm now at the machine, um, mm -hmm. not in PKUX, so uh, it's my workstation. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bernard, you sent me the link for the download of the desktop client. So, um, well, yeah, and there are various tools, right? So this is the Windows tool, right? In order to install it on your, um, it don't use the normal RDP client because uh, AVD is using a better protocol or an update for the protocol, and that comes with the uh, with that client that you are about to install, right? Okay. Uh, there's also a web access tool or a, a website uh, that you can try in order to get access, right? If you have if you're working on a system where you cannot install anything because you're not allowed to. Uh, it mm -hmm. does also work with a web client. So there is a URL out there. Also, it works. But I Max. want to use the full client, right? Yeah. So there are there definitely there are some differences, right, in what every client can do and every client does support. And you could all also see, right, there is um, an, an Android app. So I, you can also use your, 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 um, your phone for accessing it, right? Okay. Um, there are also, also thin, thin clients available, right? Uh, which is interesting if you have managed. So we are sort of partnering with other, uh, with other um, thin client vendors. So it's one link down. Um, and the thin clients, right? Um, sometimes they are managed. Um, they are, you know, Linux-based solutions uh, with special editions. Maybe sometimes on on even on USB drives, which you could plug in and then uh, you boot off from it and yeah. can work with it. So there are different possibilities of connecting to AVD, and you're using maybe one of the most, you know, for the Windows guys, uh, most obvious ones, which is installing the tool. Okay, so oh. press. Yeah, this press one? the yeah the 64-bit version because that's the most common one as it's it's stating right, and um, be aware that this guy gets updates from time to time right. Um, I will show you how it is looking like if it uh, it is signaling that there is an update on my system when I when I'm connecting to it. So I have a okay. multi-monitor uh, computer. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was something on it, I, I assume, but I didn't find it. So it wanted to be air <laughs> change or something. So I think I should be good. Yeah. Um, but I, I think everybody knows how to install a Windows application, right? Right. So, so let's go... assume we just installed that application. There is not really a lot of questions that you are going to be asked. I mean, that's that's it. And try to launch it one more time. So in your search window, type in remote desktop, and it should you should be able to find it. Yeah, I I started it, I guess, and I have to find it on my uh, screens. So uh, I would say this is not valid anymore. So I can unsubscribe from this. And now we can, we have the out of the box experience, I would say. So I can subscribe, so, right? Yeah, so this is the experience, how it looks like if you're starting from scratch, right? So after the installation, you know, you see that dialogue and you need to subscribe. and. Um, you can either subscribe with a URL that someone provided for you, 
or one of the easiest thing would be to you know use a username uh, for scribe or subscribing so All right so i click on subscribe right be patient a little bit because it brings up an azure logon dialogue and this is the phase where we are sort of you know validating your credentials against your azure active directory so this tool is allowed to delegate you know to your azure ad it's not an it's not the the, the avd hosted uh, azure ad it's yours right so um it needs to you know has your users and your passwords right so so that's it okay and as you are logging on with a user that has permissions to the um to a desktop application group which is published in the avd workspace number one there yeah, you go I remember yeah. we choose that name right right yeah and there is you know something that we can you know do to change that look and feel right so um we can do this now or later if you want to or let's do the not change the look and feel but to you know change the or, or see how it uh, works out with the lock on experience so before you hit on double click the desktop do a right click on it please and go for settings yes because you are demonstrating and sometimes i know that you have multi monitors uh, yes multiple i have monitors so uh instead of connecting now with all of these monitors which would be not very uh good for this video series so please no. go <laughs> delete, uh yes select the display that you want to choose for oh. this one <laughs> the small one so you yes. have to do the Let's inverse the identity stuff inverse you need to deselect the others and select okay. only two okay <laughs> so two like well, identity you're, yes. you're so polite you're choosing the smallest tiniest monitor for the demo but yeah we <laughs> it's, don't it's still full <laughs> hd <right? laughs> that's good okay that's it so uh go back and then um just hit the x on the top it will be remembered and now do a double click and it hopefully should bring up the dialogue on this one I hope so. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I will. I I will look at the other monitors as they are nearby. So there might be, you know, an additional pop-up prompt for the Active Directory session uh, for the, uh, for the log on to uh, the computer itself. So there might be another dialogue that you need to, have to bring up. Say, let me see. No. Uh, there 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 was a you saw it there was a small yeah. mm -hmm. behind it i love it when uh, application dialogues pop behind an active window well i don't think i mean from how you are sharing your screen at the moment i don't think that you're sharing everything because i only see a black screen so now you don't be... see a black screen anymore right <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. of course popping up on another window yeah so okay now Carson is logging on to the to the box itself Ooh, and um yes yeah, so you may have seen fs logix has been sort of starting up and we'll check that if now fs logix worked video right so mm, now yeah. we're on the host mm. so i'm logging so see, yeah uh, and it's our image right we could tell because we have notepad plus plus on the top left and we have teams um but you're logged on as your user uh, now which is good um and some of the things that might be interesting which is um for example you know uh if you do a if you do a right click and go for the task manager right so here you think here task manager there it is mm -hmm. so go under the users please users so right here I am. so currently you are the only user available right as you have to so let me just give a second i'm logging on yeah and i try to start a terminal without uh, sub, uh, administrator credentials and i will do um how was it it's PowerShell, right? Dot env and then computer name. So I'm on the first of the two machines. And right. I'm pretty sure there are more possibilities to find that out. Yes. So 
I'm logged on already, but you could see nobody else is showing up here, right? So if yeah. you go back to your Azure portal, for example, uh, and have the administrator's view uh, on the two on the host pool itself, right? So we should see two users um, being, you know, sort of sitting on two different on two different wow. machines. So you go to the virtual machines itself or active sessions in the middle on the on the right hand side in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Here. Active here. sessions. You were just over it. You were just here. Down. here. There you go. So you could see, you know, the um, two users which are uh, which are hosted on the two different session hosts, yeah, I mean, right? I did, I did a uh, right. Uh, I, I misspelled the MS. It's MD here. So uh, okay. So no worries. I mean, what you could do now is if you go, let's simulate you have a maintenance window, right? And you want to shut down one of the session hosts for maintenance, and you want to, you know, tell the user who is logged on, hey, go to a different user. So you would do this by going back to the host pool itself. Okay. Take total machines, for example. Now select the host pool that you want to evacuate because of maintenance, which is. You mean the host uh, or the host pool? Yeah, uh, the session host, this one. So the one. No, there. this. No, the other. Yours. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> not selected. I just you know turn. Um, Yes. So you mean, two the, things. The three dots. Uh, you're you're too fast for me. Okay. So okay. select the thing. <laughs> select the select the host and then turn drain mode turn drain mode on. So I select the host. Turn drain mode on. Right. Okay. If you have read it, it won't allow new users, but it won't log off the ones that are already there. Right. So okay. now select the host. Click on the host itself. Yes. And now go to users. You have the drain mode also. Mm -hmm. So I go to users. Here we have users. Yes. Yeah. And now select me. And now you could, so for example, do a notification, notify users, right? Which would send me a message which would pop up on my desktop saying, like, hey, you're going, please log off. You will be, you know, let's simulate that that works. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, and let's, you know, we will, we would, we would see that, right? Um, yeah, hit send, and it would pop up on my screen. Right? Problem, problem, problem. Yeah, don't, don't um, waste it here. We don't, we, 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 won't, we won't show it because my screen is now screwed up. But I got it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, good. so now lock me off, please, because you have the same. Lock you off here. Lock of yes. users or false lock of users. Oh, I don't mind. So I lock you off, All right? And now I would see, you know, uh, my my session is is being locked off, right? Uh, it will shut down the the profile, and it just popped up the screen. Hey, your remote desktop session ended. So now I'm hitting the session desktop log on one more time again from my side, mm -hmm. right? And um, if you go back to yours, right? Uh, let me just. To my machine, mm -hmm. you mean the task manager on where is here? Yes, is the on the other desktop. box. Where is the remote desktop? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> no, here it know. is. I have yeah. to find it. Here it is. So you see now. You I'm are coming now. Yeah. Right. I'm the second user on that desktop. Right. Mm -hmm. So that demonstrates sort of, you know, how the load balancing works, um, how you work with an administrator, and also, you know, that this Windows uh, is possible to uh, do multi-session image, right? Uh, yeah, multi-session. So cool. It allows multiple users to be connected. All right. So that's good. Um, and um, let me think of it. Do, did we want to show anything else? And ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Let's go to the. Um, let me, for example, demonstrate how it looks like from my system. So if you could switch to my screen. I can. And I, and I think I was sharing the video. 
Is it uh, my screen? Already? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we okay. See so, your yes. if you look at the top, um, you have that dialog here with the connection information. And if you click on it, uh, first of all, n UDP is um, is enabled, right? Which is mm -hmm. the best sort of protocol to be used for remote desktop connections. And I could tell, you know, from the round trip time here, what we see, 26 mixed milliseconds is the time to from myself you know to your system which is mm -hmm. i think you know could work out right because we are sort of yeah. i'm living in south germany you're sort of in the center of germany so yeah, yeah it makes sort of sense we are right? maybe 400 kilometers apart right and okay lower. but i could you know work perfectly with it so uh, haptics are good so now let's switch over to your system and see if it's the same or if it's uh, different right so, I, so also, I also have UDP. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Oh, oh wow. wow. I have, uh, mine is a bit better. I have only one <laughs> millisecond round trip time. Yeah, and you could so, even tell, you know, from the from the available bandwidth, right, you see 100 megabits. Yes. So this is something, uh, this is a special feature, right, which is called RDP short path uh, for managed networks, right? So. The client on your side is sitting on the same network as the HCI host, right? So they have sort of, you know, direct cabling, or at least, you know, there's there might be some NAT devices in between, but at least, you know, they can talk to each other relatively fast and they don't need to go over some central Microsoft, you know, gateway if you want to, in order to, uh, to reach out to the system. Um, so a direct connection is being used. But that's that was figured out after the logon process, all right? So the logon is usually, hey, you go to Azure, authenticate yourself against your Azure subscription or Azure Active Directory, and then if everything is going back, then hey, um, you are sort of passed through to, through your desktop, and then the agents on the desktop figure out that there is a direct path from um, from the sender. Uh, from the client to the uh, to the desktop, and then sort of do the short handshake, which results in much less latency and um, more throughput. How you may want it in an enterprise, right? Um, yeah, which is, I think, cool. a cool thing. Yeah, um, yeah. That's I it. think that's, that's enough for this video, and uh, we go a little bit deeper in uh, different applications in another video where we also show maybe some GPU acceleration. Right, Bernard? Right. So that would even, you know, add add a little bit more to it, but that's a different video. Right. Okay. Cool. So see you in the next one.